all right so now that we have our um, loading view we have to build our weather view how the weather is going to look so for this what i will do will be to first of all i need to close this uh, okay what i will do will be to create a new file i'm going to call this file weather that js all right now on weather.js all i have to do will be to make a normal react component so i will say import react and then component from react i'm gonna load my style sheet some text and the view from react native and i'm gonna import something really cool that expo has by default called linear gradient a linear gradient is just a view that has a background of a gradient all right from expo awesome i'm gonna say export default class weather extends component this is me doing normal uh, react js um, components if you don't know what this means you should stop this right now you go to your uh, class of react for free in nomad academy now linear gradient takes two um uh, two required props the first one is color colors and the other one is the styles all right so colors would be from and to okay and style will, will be like a normal view a style so it's a linear gradient and linear gradient now this let's see how this looks after we make a const styles style sheet that create all right and i'm going to call the container flex one and here style styles container but before this i will say from oh, sorry colors and colors should be an array of colors in hexadecimal mode so i will say sketch Okay, so we need this from the blue from the top to the bottom. And the other blue. All right, lovely. Now, we cannot test this yet because our app is built to show a, a no when it's not loaded and the loading view when is I'm sorry a view when it's loaded and the loading view when it's not loaded and by default is not loaded but we're going to change this but before I must import the weather component so what I would do will be import weather from weather weather from weather all right and i am going to return the weather i'm gonna make a trick i'm gonna say that yes it is loaded let's see what happens when i say yes that it's loaded and i refresh expo with command r <laughs> render oh return There we go. So we have a linear gradient with a flex of one from N2. Okay, that's cool. Lovely. Now let's actually start talking about what we want to build inside of it. So what I would say what you should do would be to do two containers. The first container will be at the top and 
the second container will be at the bottom all right in the first container will have the icon and text and the second one will have just title and a subtitle all right so let's create the upper one okay so the first one it will be view and view inside of it should have two texts let's say one says icon here and the other one says um, temperature here I'm gonna call this view upper so we're gonna create upper and I'm gonna say that upper has a flex of one like always and I'm gonna align the items to the center and I'm gonna justify content to the center lovely style styles that upper all right there it is icon here temperature here lovely now let's create another one another view and we're gonna call it lower lower lovely and for lower we'll do something different because lower has two texts one text says title so let's do the title for the weather so we say raining like I'm the fucker All right and the other one should say Mm, for more info look outside for more info look outside awesome so I'm gonna give this a style of styles that title and right here style styles that subtitle title All right. So, I will say that the title. Let's see. Let's see how it look first. All right. Running like a motherfucker. Okay. So lower. I will need to give it a flex of one. This in this means that everything will go to the all right to the center. Then I also I want to align the items to the flex start. All right, flex the start, and I also want to justify the content to the flex end because it's at the bottom. All right, so we'll say flex end. There we go. Now I want to give some space from the right, from the left, sorry. So I would just say padding left. 25 whoa 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 button left 25 lovely now let's do title title I will make title the font size maybe 38 mm, yeah doesn't look good but and subtitle font size maybe 24 Awesome, now both of them have a background color. Let's remove that background color. Transparent. There we go. And both of them have a color of white. Mm, problems. I still think that I'm in CSS, so I close this like a CSS attribute. Now, I want to lift both of them up. So what I will do will be subtitle. Let's give it a margin. A 
bottom of 24 pixels all right and it's gonna come up all right let's see what else now let's, we need to make this a little bit apart i think yeah this has some space so let's give the title a margin bottom also of 10 and i guess we're good we have the upper container the icon comes here yes lower title i guess we're good font size yes background color yes the color is white the everything now i want to give the title maybe it's too fat the 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 font so i'll say font weight 300 oh 300 should be a string to make it a little bit more skinny and i think that's it all right so later on what we will do will be to put some icons at the top the temperature at the top all right you know what let's do the temperature now uh an upper i would say temperature boom and maybe the temperature has the same characteristics of the subtitle let's see style styles that temperature yeah let's say that this is like i don't know 35 degrees All right, and let's remove the margin button of the temperature. This one doesn't matter. Let's give it a, sorry, let's make it big. Let's make it 38. Temperature, lovely. And let's give it a margin top. So we separate it from the icon, margin top through 10. All right, so that's it for this video. As you can see, we almost have our weather uh, screen. For the next video, we're going to learn how to work with icons on React Native. Now, working with icons is super easy. You will see in the next video. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, don't forget to ask them on the comments. And don't forget also that this is not CSS. As you can see, I have a lot of trouble sometimes by closing this with a, like a, a coma or I don't know. It's not CSS. So don't forget about that. It's not. It's not CSS. We need to. We need to change our minds from web development to native development. There's some stupid rules we need to follow. Um, yeah, so quick recap. What we did does is that we created a new component called weather. And weather is a linear gradient. The linear gradient package come from, comes from Expo. But because we're working with Expo, we don't need to install it. It comes by default with Expo. All right, and linear gradient takes two colors or more. We can put, if we want, maybe red here. I don't know. Let's try. I hope it doesn't break. Yeah. So we can put as many colors as we, as we want, and it'll, it will give it a nice uh, gradient color. We don't want this now. Then what we, what we did is that we divided our view into views, upper and lower. On the upper one, we're going to put the icon and the temperature, just like in Sketch. And on the lower one, we're going to put the title and the subtitle. All right, and then we took all the titles, subtitles, and the temperature texts, and we took away the background color. We gave them some margins, some paddings, and now we're ready to do the icons. So, see you on the next video.